So first we need to de delete the default cube and just add a plane. Then we can go to the modifier tab and add the ocean modifier. So that's this really big uh, plane. And to shrink this in size, we can just play with the size and it will shrink it down. This will make the uh, waves a little bit more choppy. We can change that by just going over to waves and changing the scale. You can also change the spatial size. This will also just change the size. I don't know what the difference is, but they both work. So uh, you just need to figure out what works for you. If you view this from the top, we can see that it's not really straight anymore here. Uh, if you want to change this, you can change the choppiness value to zero, uh, but I find uh, choppiness of one uh, making it look a little bit more uh, realistic. We can animate this by changing this time. And that's where you can see the choppiness uh, being really realistic because the sides actually move. And a really great tip for the time is you can just input the hashtag frame and it will just change the time value to whatever frame you're on. So if you are on the 130th frame, the time will be set to 130. And this will be too quick, of course. So we can do some math here. We can divide this by, let's say, but we wanted to make an ocean. So let's just set this to divided by 12 and it will be a lot quicker. Change the size, the scale to one. And this is a really cool ocean. So that's how we do the mesh. Now we need to add a material so we can go and add a new window here. Go to shader editor and add new material. We can just delete the principles and add a glass shader. The IOR of water is one plus one divided by three. And we can change the roughness to about uh, 0.1. I find this really useful and just change the color to something a little bit more blue. And we can add some foam to this. So if we just go back to the uh, modifier, we can go to foam and uh, just select it and we can uh, type foam in this data layer so we can get it in our material just want to type uh, attribute and name will be foam and we can uh, plug the color in a color ramp we can just preview this and this is what the foam will look like so we can uh, just add a mix shader uh, with this one and just add a diffuse in between this with the roughness set to one because foam is really rough and this file will be available on my garm mode as well so you can download it there it will be under the creator support to make the foam a little bit more visible we can change the slider and we can see the foam appear and this is how we can make a really easy ocean with a foam and all. We can repeat this, just like an array modifier, so we can see the ocean here. And this is really heavy on your machine, but it does look really realistic. So I hope this video helped, and if it did, leave a like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Go to my comrades, and I'll see you next time.